Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, using which attribute we can name a data provider method in TestNG? Let me answer. The attribute is none other than name attribute. Using this name attribute, we can name a data provider method. Let me practically demonstrate this for you. For that, I'll switch to this Eclipse IDE where we have the sample test ng project under which we have this class created. Here, I'll create a method public void. I'll say sample login test. Okay. Like this. Now, this method need to receive the username and password, multiple sets of username and password, username and password. Otherwise, email password we can say or Username password is also fine. Okay. Here I'll just write instead of real selenium code, I'll write some sample print statement saying user got logged in using username colon plus this username and password. Which password? This password. Okay. Just say plus and password, give that like this. Okay. Now I'll convert this into the testNG test method for the most import it from testNG library. Now this testNG test method need to receive multiple sets of data from a data provider method. So I want to create a method which is going to supply the data to this testNG test method public wide. Okay. Data supplier. Okay. Sample method. You can give any name to this. That's okay. Okay. And but you have to provide the annotation known as data provider annotation to convert this method into a method which is going to supply the data to the testng test methods. Import this data provider annotation from testng library. And now here create two dimensional object array and create multiple sets of data. Okay. That you need to pass for every set of data. Inside this curly brace, mention this curly braces. For example, here Arun and Kama, that is a username, this is a password. This is one set of data. Now this one is Varun and Kama, 456. And this one is Tarun, Kama, 789. Like this, three sets of data. And uh, here I need to provide the name. And I would like to return the data. And this method is going to supply this multiple sets of data to this, uh, to any of the testNG test methods. And the return type should be the two dimensional object array. Now, fine. So far, so good. Now I need to make a connection between this data provider method. Okay. And this testNG test method, because this testNG test method need to receive this multiple sets of data. Hence here, beside the, at the rate test annotation, I'll provide data provider attribute provider attribute and I would like to specify the name of the data provider. Okay. If this data provider is not named using the name attribute, you can directly provide the method name like this. So let's run this code and you will see that you have to directly provide the name of the method in the data provider attribute as a value. Okay, if you have not named this data provider method, but still the connection will be setting, uh, will be done. And uh, since there are three sets of data, this test engine test method is going to run three times. Okay, and uh, with the different usernames and passwords. Okay, there are three sets of data, so test engine test method will run three times. Let's run this. But we have not named this data provider using the name attribute any, any um, still. Okay, but it is going to work. Here in this case, you see, it has worked the same test engine test method. That is a sample login test method got executed with multiple sets of data that to three times. Okay. It got executed three times. You see one, two, three with different sets of data, but you can additionally name this data provider. Okay. Let's say I would like to name this data provider as uh, okay. Data supplier, simple, simple name I'm giving instead of data supplier sample method I'm giving data supplier one or something like this I'll give. Okay, this name I can provide here. Instead of the method name, you can 
give the name of the data provider which has been specified with the help of name attribute okay we have not used this you have to give the method name here okay as a data provider value but if you have named the data provider use the name attribute then you have to provide this as a value of the data provider okay so people generally name the data provider and give the give that name as a value to the data provider to make a connection between this uh, data supplier method and the test engine test method it is going to work so the answer for this uh, question is using this name attribute we can name the data provider okay you see the same result we got same same sample login test method got executed three times with different sets of data you can see it here and in this case we have properly named the data pro uh, data provider method okay and we have passed that name here okay instead of providing the method name we can give the name that we have given to the data provider okay that's the advantage of the name attribute so hope guys uh the answer you got it using which attribute we can name a data provider method in test engine using name attribute okay and what's the advantage you already got to know with the practical demonstration so that's all for this session thank you bye bye